This is Ellie Tom Melamy, Breatharian. And here I am at Columbus, Ohio with the Supreme Master Ching Hai crew that's going to do interviews dealing with the Breatharian message. But we're also here in Columbus dealing with the Mucus Free uh, Festival that's taking place. And that's part of the message because some people ask, what about water? What about getting thirsty? Well, the less mucus you have in your system, the less thirsty you're going to be. That's what it's all about. Your body produces mucus on everything you put in your body. It's a slimy substance. And the reason why your body produces it is because you're eating. You got a hole that goes from your mouth all the way to your anus. So when it creates that slimy substance that we call mucus, it's so that the food and toxicity could go through a lot more smoothly so it won't harm you. But when you start eating less, and start eating things that contain less mucus, such as fruits, which is distilled water, then you won't have that much mucus in your system. That's why people who do fast a lot will tell you about the third or fourth day, their hunger and their thirst start decreasing because the mucus start coming up more. And the less mucus or none at all you have in your system, you will not get thirsty. See, the cells of the body feed off of a high frequency energy out of the atmosphere called ATP. It's in the atmosphere we live in, the air. Now today's message is called the Ancient of Days. And in the scriptures, this ain't getting religious, but it said in, in a period of time, the Ancients of Days shall come. Now what does this mean? It's the idea. See, Breatharianism isn't a new message at all. It's an ancient message that's making a resurrection. It's coming back to the surface. The idea never died. It's just that man walked away from the idea. But the idea is a living entity. When it has a vessel that will transform itself to take on that idea, then the idea and the vessel become one and the Ancient of Days have resurrected itself. This isn't far-fetched. So as you see me here, not only you see me as I was born into this realm, all my ancestors was born in me. And those who carried the idea has resurrected with the information. This is how we got it now. We getting information now, dealing with the breathing process. It ain't coming from the media, uh, the medical profession. They don't have it because they were stuck in another idea, not the ancient idea. So as we come back on the scene and the ancient idea has resurrected itself, it is more and aware to also protect itself and also to make itself be legitimate in this realm. Put everything under fruition to let you know that it exists. So when you talk about do the body need vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, First of all, the average person don't even know what that means. <laughs> don't even know what that is. It's all about energy, children. And meditation is the foundation because when you're sleeping at night, you are in unconscious meditation. The brain goes into a meditative state, the alpha and the tether state. The body relaxes itself. And then the body gets a chance to what? Hook up to the matrix because it's in a total relaxed position. And this is when we regenerate ourselves, or it feels like we have. But when you get into conscious meditation, whether it be light, sound, vibration, all of these different uh, technologies, because that's what it is, are designed to connect you with this atmosphere we live in, which is an atmosphere of power, which is an atmosphere of high consciousness. See, I am sitting in high consciousness. I am high consciousness. It's about you becoming into the realization of it. Everywhere I go, I've never seen a low consciousness before. Because a wise man could distract information out of anything. No matter if somebody drinking, smoking, homeless. That's our perception that says, this is high, this is low. But when you're rolling with this new idea of the creator being everything, that is the Breatharian message. Everything sustains you because you're one with everything. Of course I live a life of no failure, of life that's victorious, because this is my mind, this is my vibration. 
But when you become separated from it, and you look at everything as being dense physical matter, that's when life becomes a nightmare. See, food is an experience. That's all it is. But who told you that it gives you life? Who told you that life? That right there already separated you from the idea of your true self. Now listen at this now. Listen slow. Your physical body was born into this earth. Nobody's arguing that. So at a dense level, it needs food, it needs water, it needs sleep. But your light body, the one that's you. See, when you're at a funeral, you just see the body laying there. The true person left the vessel. It wasn't born from here. It went back home. So as you're moving around right now, this physical body you live in, it was born from here, but it is your vessel to experience this realm. It's your job to become one with it, to master it, to put it under subjection of your idea. When you do that, you understand, and your light body and your physical body become one, no separation, then your, your physical body is going to start behaving differently because it's in under the mastery of the higher forces, which is you. Oh, it's not making itself plain. <laughs> now, at first it takes work. Nobody's arguing that. But what type of work? The work it takes is consistency. You're not strong enough right now to be food free. You've been doing this for a long time. You're a professional eater. You're good at it. So that's why when you get back into meditation, you must allow the light, the true you, transform you. Slowly breaking off those habits, slowly breaking off those thought processes that's been locking you into the lower vibration frequency. That's not you. All this is just an experience. Have your experience, but learn how to lay it down. Does that make sense? 100%. Okay, if you eat cookies, big deal. <laughs> But for the cookies, you need them over and over again. Now it got ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And as I, and I'm gonna tell you the straight up truth coming from a person, right there in your mind. People I haven't saw in a long time, and I come back to those areas, and I see what took place, I see a degeneration take place. And guess what it took place? I see food is killing everybody. They don't see it. Food is killing them. And if you don't master food freedom, now don't take this wrong, I know everybody's nice. It is necessary to be on a spiritual ramp. Did I say that? How you gonna jump in, in and out? It don't work like that. See, we're in another age now where even spirituality is being transformed right this now. Everything else is just an experience. So going on this path is not for to take it lightly. This is a very serious initiation. And it's no putting yourself down. It's not about putting other, other people down. It's about working with yourself slowly because your true nature is the light. I have a question about children. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on. You can have a seat, matter of fact. Um, yeah, uh, it's okay. But I have a question about children. When they get born, they need milk from the mother. Absolutely. Okay. She said when a baby's born, and this is what a lot of people ask. Yes, a baby needs the requirements from the earth. First of all, you created the baby. And nature shows us that everything comes from its infant stages and it grows into a maturity. A human being's brain ain't even fully developed till it turns 25. That vessel cannot hold enough energy to be held by the higher forces. So it has to go through a physical development. That's why in the scriptures it says everybody goes through the wilderness. The wilderness is your own personal journey through the dense physical realm. So that young person that's growing and developing, yes, they're going to go through the dense physical realm. And they must develop and grow through it. That's why an older person, the more you age, the higher the energy goes. We've been taught differently, though. Oh, you lose energy when you get older. No, you don't. The longer you stay in this realm, the more you're being radiated in this realm. So you got a lot more energy to work with. 
I'm getting stronger as each year goes past. That's how it's supposed to be. When you're in a meditative lifestyle, feeding off of this atmosphere, this spectrum that we're in, you're going to get stronger. Health is guaranteed. It will heal any sickness, illness, and disease. You will sleep less so you can eradicate it at all. This is pure human potential. No ifs, buts, or ands about it. Okay. In correlation with in the scriptures how people live to 400 years old. Absolutely. Years old. Absolutely. And this isn't far fetched now. See, we in this realm, we're, we're living in two different states of consciousness. One is, we're living in a pandemic taking place where people are sick or dying prematurely through a behavior of a lifestyle. We know this now. So now we're seeing that there's a biological immortality that's existing. We kind of got that. If you live a certain type of way, just like this tree, in a certain atmosphere, it could go on continually for a very long time. So that's longevity. That's all we're saying. So when we talk about physical immortality, don't let that scare you. They just found a tree in North Carolina that's 2,600 years old. But they're all saying it's because of its habitat. The environment. There we go. So the worst predator, and I gotta say it, on this planet is the human being. We're killing ourselves through lack of ignorance. We're being hard on ourselves. We're altering our environment to what? Bring more help, uh, pain to ourselves, and we don't need to do that. Now, I'm not saying don't use the environment if we go primitive, but we're not saying that. But you can create things that are more user friendly for the whole, the environment, and all. We're smart as well. Absolutely. So, this is what we're talking about. So, in the scriptures, all that's coming to light now. And it seemed like that for a long time, science and religion are merging as one. Well, they've been saying that before. And all it is, when they wrote the scriptures to start out with, the masters are just looking at nature. Nature is giving you the right tools to work with. So that's why when she asked that question about a baby, yes, a baby goes to its mother, then it goes to Mother Earth, then it's supposed to go to Sky Father. That's your development. But somewhere along the way, we lost that. It went to Mother, or it went to a cow or something else. Then... <laughs> It went to the earth the wrong way, eating up everything, and it got stuck there. But Sky Father is the atmosphere we live in. You're one with it. So even when we use terms like yoga to become union with, union with what? See, we just use it as a household name. Person, you know, bending their leg and looking a certain way, I'm a yogi. Okay, really? Why ain't you food free then? That's just the third level. So that's why I gotta come out with it through a breatharian perspective. You ain't even on a spiritual path if you can't master no hunger. If you come into this world originally, you started through human history. Do you believe that the original human beings were vegetarians and it's physical? Now he's saying was the original human beings food free. And eventually. And eventually there was a fall of consciousness that took place. Alright, let's get into it now. Now let's take a look at breatharianism. What is it? The definition is an ancient word for fasting from an idiot. And it means to eat very little or none at all. So in ancient times, everybody knew the knowledge of food freedom. So yes. Now did they eat? Some could choose to eat, but they were aware there was for an experience. Somewhere along the line, the frequency dropped when people start getting caught into the experience and it became real. And as each generation came, it got denser, denser, and denser till we lost the way. And somebody came along, this is what we call the conspiracy. Somebody knows, absolutely. They know the way you're supposed to be going, they just didn't tell you. Now, did they have to tell you? No, they didn't. Because the answers is already in you. But when we look at this, it ain't about pointing fingers blaming nobody. Not only are we in a personal spiritual development, you're also in a collective one. Humanity goes collectively. But also there's a planetary movement to take place on how we move in with the light. So that's why the ancients all wrote about a time of darkness coming collectively due to our position in the galaxy. So that was going to happen regardless. The fall of consciousness. 
It just means we got further away, away from a center of the light. Uh-oh. So collectively, it's the light that's transforming everybody again. As we coming into the light collectively, that's why you even see a McDonald's now giving a vegan burger. This is a collective thing. What do you mean by light? You mean literally on a planetary scale, like right? no light as in the physical light? Or Not the physical light. Now, this is where everybody get into. Because your eyes, all it sees is light, but it only sees a physical light of a frequency range. And it's hard for people to see what breatharianism is because we're not talking about the physical light. Right. So some people even get caught in sun gazing. Right. I gotta go and be under the physical light. And they get into this routine and that's not where it's from. Now we talk about this dark light, dark energy. It's just the light you cannot see that's vibrating at a higher frequency range. It seems, oh. This is we didn't film yet. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. I could talk this all day long. Okay, yeah. but, and you need to... to Can we do b roll with you, um, you when you meditate? and? Uh, oh, absolutely. Or do you yeah. do Tai Chi? Or do something? We're going to do it all. Um, but different areas. This is the area that you will do it. We'll do it all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Y'all need me so now? Yeah, you, yeah. You go to. Go with me. You go with me, and then we will be back. I'm we doing three interviews at <laughs> once. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Online. All right. Online. And this is Supreme Master Ching Hai. I'm doing three interviews at once, so I'm working. <laughs> right now, we're about to do some Tai Chi and stuff, but you'll see it coming out soon once they get it together. But, but this is just to give everybody an idea of what we're talking about because we're serious about this. We're going through the states now, and after I get done with this, in the next couple months, it's going to be all around the world after we get done. We're working. The Son of Adam is back. <laughs> Peace and blessings.